Okay, we're here in St. Felicien, Quebec. Conclusion of the men's cross country at the 2009 Canadian Mountain Bike Nationals. Talk to Max Plaxon, who just finished second. So congratulations. Thanks, thanks. Now, you were, um, there was a group of four of you that uh, was away and then uh, looks like it's going pretty steady until you shook things up towards the end of the fourth lap. Uh, what, what happened? Yeah, I was, you know, I was feeling great. I wasn't feeling superb, like kind of how I felt the last few races, the last few Narvas, but uh, I felt good and I was kind of surprised that it was staying together as much as it was because you know, me and Derek were kind of pushing the pace a little bit, so I, I kind of, I tried to shake it up there on that last climb with the lap to go and see if that would, uh, if I could get away there, but you know, those guys were, it wasn't the best place to put in a big attack, but uh, did what I could and you know, yeah, Jeff was, I don't know if the strongest day, but definitely the smartest. So what happened there, because um, obviously you, you got a little bit of a gap and then Derek came up and then Jeff came up and then next time we saw you uh, with like a, about a kilometer and a half to go, uh, Jeff had a little gap on you. Yeah, basically I put that attack in, got a little gap and then through the feed zone there's that headwind so it's hard to really uh, get away there and then they, they caught up to me and then we just kind of, the three of us just cruised and then Derek kind of put, put up the pace a little and then uh, you know, he didn't really open up the gap, but then Jeff, uh, kind of on the start loop, that little section where we come on the start loop, Jeff just put in a huge attack. And, you know, he's quite good at uh, those, attack, you know, strong attacks. And, you know, I was, I was feeling okay, but, uh, yeah, I just, just didn't have that extra little bit. Okay. But no, second's great, and congrats to Jeff. You know, he hasn't had the best year. Uh, so, yeah, congrats to him, and uh, it's cool to see him win on a Canadian bike, too. Okay. Now, for you, this is your year's been a little different. I mean, you changed teams, yep. gone to show air, specialized in the States. You've been doing a lot of Norb races. You're, I think you, you're still leading the series there, right? Yep. So it's obviously been a pretty strong season for you. I mean, what, what changed this year to sort of have that resurgence? Uh, yeah, it's, it's been my best year, I think, ever. I've just been kind of... The goal at the start of the year is just to be consistent, you know, just keep the bike, keep the bike together at the race, and uh, kind of try and keep the form steady throughout the season. And so far, it's been good. I think uh, the biggest change is changing teams. Uh, you know, the Rocky Mountain's a great team, and uh, thanks to the people in charge there for a good four, four or five years I had there. But uh, you know, I think change is always good. So I think it was just good to be with around some bit, uh, new people and uh, just some, you know, just some fresh faces. And, no, it's, it's it's been a great season. Like like I said, I won my first Norba in Colorado Springs there, so that was that was amazing, and uh, it's been a, it's been a great season. So, you know, anything anything more, I think will just be you know just icing on the cake for me. Now, what have you changed? Have you changed your training or or or, any, or your program in any way? Uh, I think just uh, just just more than anything is just my headspace. Uh, just I kind of you know I had I had a rough year last year, and uh, I was very close to hanging up the cleats throughout the winter so I think I just I just found a way to have fun again and you know approach the races just having fun and training is, is fun I'm not training as much I'm training more kind of you know quality over quantity mm -hmm. but uh, I'm just I'm excited to, I'm excited to see my team at the race I'm excited to go to the races I think that that makes a big difference you know you're just excited to race okay so will we be seeing you in Mont Saint Anne and uh, Bromont uh, oh, for sure. Yeah, I'll be. I'm gonna go home tomorrow and uh, get some good training in, and then I'm really looking forward to the two World Cups uh, and then the two and the two World Cups. Yeah, and the two U.S. US Cups. Out U.S. Cups that yeah. that, and then hopefully Worlds. I hope so. Yeah, it's looking good. If I can keep it up, uh, that should be good. Yeah. Good. Well, thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Rob.